quality of club meetings. Members will learn about the skills and standards needed for successful clubs. As Brendan mentioned earlier, my time is between 10 and 15 minutes. There are three ways we can look at meeting roles and responsibilities. The first way is speaking and evaluation. Our meetings consist of both of these, speaking and evaluation. What's an example of a speaking role? What's an example of a speaking role? CJ? <laughs> example of a speaking role? Mm. To get a, a sermon. Okay, the but sermon in, in the Toastmasters. Oh, in the Toastmasters. Um, topics, table topics. Table topics, speaking, and prepared speakers. What's an example of an evaluation role? Um, let's see here. Hong Jun? We're counting uh, or other clutch walls. That's correct. But what's the, the most important evaluation? Where well, speech evaluators or correct. general? That's right. So uh, another way to look at roles is the amount of time it takes you to do the role. Okay, this is the second way of looking at roles. We have three kind of measurements. One would be a small role, or one to two minutes. A medium role, three minutes. And a large role, which really is more than five minutes. Okay. The final way to look at roles is the awards that they account for. CL and CC. What is, what does CC stand for? It's too easy, isn't it? Okay, one day, what is CC? Competent communicator. Competent communicator. And question, how many people, okay, you have yours, I have mine, I think there's only two, but how many people have more than six speeches? Put up your hand. Just six. Just six. Anyone else? Nine. 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 You're so oh. close. June, the end of June, <laughs> before the end of June, please, speech number 10. Okay, so I really encourage you that if you have six speeches or more, really, you're, you're so close to your target. I encourage you to strive for those extra four speeches, especially for Dr. Bach. Okay. I think, wait, now there was another person here that got their CC. That, that was uh, Greg recently. So there's, there's myself, Hong Jun, and Greg. And there was another person who is no longer with our club no more. She went back to America, and that is Suzanne Howard, although her CC does count toward our club's uh, credit. Okay, and what does CL stand for? Competent, competent leadership. Competent leadership. And so there's, there's Marie, there's myself, and I think Brendan's pretty close to getting his. Are the, is there anyone else who's very close to getting their seat? Maybe I, aren't you close, Hongjo? Just two projects more. So that's pretty close. That's pretty close. Okay. So question: How do you get credit? Uh, your CC credit. Very easy, of course. Speaking. Okay. What does? Uh, I'm sorry. I know. Name one role you can get for your CL credit. There, of course, there are so many roles in the meeting, but two, there are two roles that are, that are very important that you can get a lot of credit for in your CL. What two roles are they, Mr. Uh, VPE? Um, speech evaluator and That's Toastmaster. Oh, hmm? Toastmaster is another. Toastmaster, it, actually there are five projects that we can receive credit for uh, in the CL. And actually the general evaluator, there are six, six projects that you can receive. So I really encourage you, if you want to finish your CL quickly, 
uh, to to finish it, to volunteer for Toastmaster, to volunteer for general uh, evaluator. Okay. So, in summary, the question: What are the three ways of viewing the meeting roles? As I said in the beginning, what are the three ways? What are the three ways, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Bissinger, can you give me... Oh, speaking and evaluation. Okay, speaking and, yeah, um, speaking and evaluation. Can you... Oh, second one? Uh, um, I, I'll give you a hint. S, M, and L. S, M, and L. Small, medium, and large. large. Okay, S, M, and L, small, medium, and large. Small, one to two minutes. Medium, about three minutes. Large, over five minutes. Okay, and the third one, in regards to your CC and your CL, what credit you will receive. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, welcome to the greatest Toastmasters club, I hope, in Area 60, Go-Getters Toastmasters Club. I am your Toastmaster, not really. So, who's in charge of the meeting, of setting the flow of the meeting? Who's in charge? Tonight, that is Su Hun. She's the boss how the flow of the meeting goes, okay? It's, it's important for the Toastmaster to set a comfortable uh, feeling in the meeting. A Toastmaster, there's a lot of work that goes behind the scene to make, to ensure a successful meeting. It's also a great leadership role. A Toastmaster is a facilitator and runs the meeting Toastmaster is a team leader. You can get a lot of credit towards your CL if you're a Toastmaster. Let me name those uh, projects. Time management, planning and implementation, facilitation, motivation, and team building. So this is one of the hats that the Toastmaster wears, very important hat, the hat of the uh, Toastmaster. And the next hat that, the to that a member of Toastmasters wears <laughs> Oh, wait, now you know what, I, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself, I didn't explain the role of the Toastmaster very well. So. Let me jump back there, okay? And what should the Toastmaster do? Uh, you know, it's very important. I'm a firm believer in this. Not every club does this. A Toastmaster should select the theme for the meeting. Work with the general evaluator in implementing the theme. Of course, this happens before the meeting. Ideally, it should happen two or three days before the meeting. To give you an example, I attended a Toastmasters uh, meeting, another club, and the Toastmaster chose a color theme, and the color was pink. Attached to the color pink was the season spring. So the members were encouraged to wear pink. Then the Toastmaster had a question that the speakers and the role takers had to answer this question. And basically the question was, what does spring mean to you? With this information, the Toastmaster um, could set the theme or could set kind of like a, use a transition into introducing the speakers. Likewise, the general evaluator would use the answer to these questions to introduce the role takers. 
The Toastmaster must pay close attention to the speeches and evaluations because it will help him or her building a bridge in introducing the next speaker. So if you have two speakers, the Toastmaster is listening to the first speaker, gets some information, and then um, builds a bridge and introduces the next speaker. The other hat, a very important hat, is not in order, Oops, okay? Sorry. Cable yes. Topics Master, okay? Prepare speeches are the, mo are, are the meat and potatoes of Toastmasters. Table topics are the dessert, in my opinion. And the t Table Topics Master should create creative topics so that members and guests will be interested in participating. Ensure that every member without a role has a chance to participate. And here's a key word here, invite guests to participate. I have been guilty of this, I've kind of did some arm twisting, but sometimes we have to do a little arm twisting if nobody volunteers. One to two minutes, okay, and guests are exempt from the timers report and the all counters report. Also, for the table topics master, you can get credit for your time management, planning and implementation, and facilitation. As a table topic speaker, you can also get uh, credit for listening and leadership in your CL manual. Another hat, very important hat, that Toastmaster wears is that of the prepared speaker. And of course, as I said earlier, the prepared speeches are the meat and potatoes okay, of Toastmasters. They are the centerpiece of the meeting. These are prepared speeches. We work on them from manuals. The competent communicator's manual and advanced manuals. In the manuals, there are projects that are matched to specific kinds of speaking opportunities. They allow you to develop your skills. Also, speakers have a chance to organize, reorganize, and use vivid language and props. You get a chance to practice and refine your speech. Practice with a timer. So if you're, if you're giving your speech at home or in your office, practice using a timer. Time management and implementation skills you will gain. Okay. Another very important role, a hat that the Toastmaster wears, is that of the general evaluator. The general evaluator plays a medium role and they preside over the second half of the meeting. Evaluation is a pillar of a Toastmasters meeting. Without evaluation, we cannot improve ourselves. A general evaluator demonstrates good listening skills, critical thinking skills, and to provide constructive feedback. The team consists of uh, speech evaluators, timers, all counters, grammarian, and listener. After each member of the evaluation team gets their report, the general evaluator steps up and gives their overall report. Remember to keep it about three minutes and use the sandwich method. Highlight good areas and areas for improvement. Other words highlighting what people did well. Speech evaluator. You are like an art critic, invited to evaluate and critique an artist's work of art. You need to follow the guidelines and objectives spelled out in the manual. Write the comments down and hand it over to its owner after the meeting. Build your two to three minute presentation as you would a sandwich. The bread at both ends, okay, is the praise and acknowledgement. The protein is the items for improvement. Do so artfully, but tactfully, very important. Try not to use words such as negative and bad. Depending upon the level of the speaker, you may want to vary your focus. Okay. The timer. Stay within, the timer helps the, it's a medium roll, it's about three minutes, and the timer helps uh, people stay within their uh, allotted speaking times. 
sit directly in view of the speaker. Use an A4 size uh, color paper and hold it, each color up for one minute, ex with exception to the red color, which is for 30 seconds, and I'm going to get that. I got that now. <laughs> but you know what? If I go over time, um, I'm going to forgive myself. Listener, I enjoy this part of the meeting the most. Listeners carefully make a list of questions based upon the speakers and evaluators, toastmaster and general evaluator. The listener helps us to become better listeners. Listening now guides us by what we will say next. The awe counter helps people to become aware of their bad speaking habits and deficits not meant to embarrass people. I want to recommend you to use an application on your iPhone or your Android phone and it's called All Counter. It'll help you. Use a tally sheet. Use a uh, kind of a clicker. Okay, and this one, the grammarian also combines the, combines the word of the day. The grammarian is very important, I think especially for Korean people, because it will highlight the, the, the incorrect use of grammar and point out interesting words and focus on the word of the day, of course. And really important, this one is especially for the Vice President of Education, with leadership evaluations. If you have a role, please give your CL manual to someone during the meeting to evaluate you. One, you make keeping track of your CL progress easier. Two, you won't give your VPE a headache. Non, it's a non-speaking role, but it's a very important role. In conclusion, um, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There are the meeting roles and responsibilities in the, for a club meeting. Thanks for listening, and I'm, I apologize for going over time. Thank you.